Hello and welcome back friends. So now we are ready for starting of uh, this sign up form. Okay, so first of all here inside of this style text we are going to use this which will select all the elements and we will going to provide a margin of 0 and padding of 0. Okay, so it will remove the margin if someone already have default margin so it will set that margin to 0 and padding as well to 0. Okay. Then we are going to give body a background color of black. So now refresh your page. Okay, so we have this background color black here. So now we are going to style this progress bar. So progress bar. So first of all, we have this parent progress bar, and inside of this, we have the child progress bar. Okay, so for parent progress bar, so has progress bar, we are going to give a width of 100% and its max height will be 5px and background will be RGBA 0, 0, means I'm going to set it to light black. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.2 opacity. Okay. Then we have overflow to hidden. Okay. So now when I refresh the page, we have the progress bar here, but we don't have height for it right now. So now I'm going to style the child element that is progress. Okay, so dot progress. So here for the progress, we are going to give a width of 33.33 percent for because we are on because when we are on the first input, so we need some height for the progress rate 33.33 percent. And when we are on the second input, it will increase to 66.66 percent. And when we are on the third input, it will be 100 percent. Okay. So then we are going to give it a height of 5px and now when I refresh the page again so as you can see it moves slightly down and we have our progress bar here at the top and if I will change the color of it to FFF so you can see here we have our progress bar okay so now I'm going to give a background color of light blue so here we have progress bar with this progress means we are in our first step so now we are going to style our form so make a comment form styling So for the form, what we have here, first of all we are going to select a form. So we want the width of the form should be 70% and its margin from top should be 100px and it will be centered. Ok so we are going to use auto here and when I refresh the form, so as you can see it is in 100% uh, center. So now it is in center because you can see this uh, we have form this area means the area which is of blue is of form width again okay, so it is in center position of a web page so now what I'm going to do here I'm going to select the item here means I'm going to select these divs and I'm going to give a div item a max height of 175px and I will after that I will uh, give the styling to the label so label should have color white and font weight should be 800 means bold 
and then we have font family I'm going to use here is sans serif and then we have letter spacing as well of 2px font size 2.5em and then we have display as block level element and then margin bottom of 20 px so again so this is our label so now what I'm going to do I'm going to style my uh, input so input should have a background of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.3 and then we have width of 100% and after that we have padding of 30px from all the sides and then we have a font size of 1.7em and then we have a color RGBA that is white, dull white actually. Okay, so now when I refresh the page again, so this is our input page. So when I open the developer console, so here we have a form. So as you can see, these input fields are overlapping our form. So we can solve this issue by giving it a property of box sizing border box which will automatically adjust its width as per its parent container okay so now when I press the page again and see this uh, so we have a complete width of 100% here so now uh, one more thing I have to do here when I focus on it as an outline so I'm going to remove this outline so input on focus and we have the same option for the button as well so button on focus so we are going to set outline to none and then we are going to uh, style our accents button so we have this accents div we want this div in the bottom so we are going to select accents and we are going to give it a position of absolute and it should be right 5% and should be in bottom 10% uh, space from the bottom as well so now we are going to style the accents button so has accents button So here we have X and, and then we have the button over here. So now button. So padding of 15 px, border to none, and then color to white, background to RGBA, black but little bit light. and then we have a cursor to pointer and after that we have a transition as well 100 millisecond easing because we are going to give it an over effect so now as accents button on hover so we have a background change to has OOB FFS and when I refresh the face you can see we have buttons here in the bottom so when I hover over it it has a little bit transitions and the color is changing also so now what I have to do here I have one more button here that is sign up button so I could use the same styling for it as well as the form button and when I refresh it so it is a black color so some little bit of styling I have to give it different styling as well so here form button 
so what I'm going to do here I'm going to give it a width of 100% with margin top 10px and then we have a padding as well of 20px and 50px little bit uh, more in height and width so then we have a color and of white and then we have a font size for it 1.5 em and after that we have a background of the same FFL okay so when I press the page as you can see we have the sign up button right here so now what I'm going to do here I'm going to uh, hide this input field so here I could do uh, this item to display none so now when I refresh the page so we not have any input field over here so here in the HTML I'm going to give div, this div a uh, class of active and here we have an active class to which we have set to display to block okay so this is the only thing we have in front in and the page loads okay so now one more thing I have to do in the form uh, input so in the form input we have to set the border to none okay so now this is our form ready and so this is that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture we are going to add interactivity to this sign up form okay so see you in the next lecture thank you